So today the seminar will be about the similarities between Nietzsche, uh, the philosophy of Nietzsche, and Taoism. Uh, if you if you understand both philosophies, uh, they have very striking similarities between them. I think. Uh, the most important part of philosophy of a uh, civilization is philosophy, and especially when it comes to political issues. Mm -hmm. And in in this in this field, uh, both Nietzsche and Taoism uh, have very interesting similarities, uh, as you will see in a few minutes. Okay. Uh, the contents of this uh, seminar will be very brief, uh, very short, and the most interesting part will be the last one, which is uh, a debate that I want you to have uh, at, the, at the end. Uh, but I will cover transmutation of values, which is very important in, in Nietzsche. Uh, also, the, the critic that Nietzsche did to to western civilization and western philosophy especially aristotle and plato uh, we we also are going to talk about nature knowledge morality and so on okay uh, as you might know uh, a very important concept in nietzsche is transvaluation of values uh, what is that well uh, since my viewpoint, uh, trans transvaluation of values is uh, an, an ideology that the, the weakest ones in a society create to control the, the stronger, the stronger person uh, people in the, in this society. For example, uh, Christ Christianity uh, is a uh, is a good example because Christianity is an ideology that developed the weakest one, according to Nietzsche, to control a society. And using this uh, ideology, you can control the morality of society. And uh, yes, you can create a, a state based on religion, for example. But uh, Christianity is only one example. You can find a lot of uh, a great deal of ideologies in in all mm -hmm. civilizations. That is uh, an example of transvaluation of values. Okay, uh, and also Nietzsche uh, used this concept to to debunk uh, the Western foundations of knowledge. Uh, here is when you can find uh, the first similarity between Nietzsche and Tao, because uh, both philo philosophies uh, question the foundation that ancient Greek philosophers, Plato and Aristotle, estab established over 2,000 years ago. Uh, if, you, if you take a look at uh, Western philosophy, you, you will find that it's, it's full of uh, rationalisms, science, and uh, yes, it, uh, Western philosophy put a strong emphasis in, in, in reason rather than nature or rather than sense. That's why in, in Western world, science has developed uh, in such a um, in such an important uh, manner. Uh, because reason is important for science, but reason has uh, some um, risk when it comes to, to, politi to, policy, to politics, as we will see later on. Okay? And also both philosophies uh, Taoism and Nietzsche uh, are against ideologies, moralism, and dogmatism. Uh, that's why both philosophies are closer to skepticism and to uh, anarchism 
uh, also support the individual freedom of human beings. Okay, the next point is related with nature and sense. Well, uh, as you might know, Nietzsche rejects uh, the skepticism about sense uh, as the ability to find knowledge. This is the opposite of, for example, Kant, uh, Plato, Ar Aristotle, is the opposite because, uh, for example, Kant uh, did a strong uh, emphasis to reason rather than sense, but in contrast, Nietzsche uh, likes really much uh, the ability that sense has to gather information, to, to find knowledge. So for Nietzsche, sense are more, more important than reason. So uh, Nietzsche, uh, so to speak, discards superiority of reason over sense. That's... Um, it's interesting because major, the most of philosophers in Western world did the opposite. For example, uh, Parmenides, uh, yes, all, with only the extension of Heraclitus, that said once, no man ever steps in the same river twice because reality is ever changing. And this uh, characteristic of reality, you cannot uh, understand with reason, because reason is not changing by definition, it's permanent. Uh, but sense are not permanent, and they can capture the characteristic, changeable characteristic of reality. Also, the Tao, Taoism, the Tao Te Ching, in, in the Tao Te Ching text, which is the most important one in the Taoism, is reluctant to commit any standard of knowledge other than a subjective one. So for the Taoist, the, the standard of knowledge is, is the one that the, uh, that the individual choose for, for, for their own, okay? So, here, there is no standard of uh, knowledge, there is no morality, there is no principles. Only those principles that the individuals choose, okay? That's why Taoists reject wisdom or knowledge in this sense. Okay, and uh, now uh, I choose four quotes. Uh, the, the first two are from Nietzsche. Uh, Nietzsche said, Reason is the ca cause of our falsification of the evidence of the sense. It's, it's the same. It's rejecting the, the ability of reason to find knowledge or to, to use it. The second one, today we possess science precisely to the extent to which we have decided to accept the testimony of the sense. Again, uh, is uh, up cherishing the ability of sense to capture knowledge. And now, in the Chuanzu, which is a very important Taoist text, uh, you can find the, the next quote. I will read it first in Chinese and then uh, in, the, in the English translation. Sheng ren sheng er da dao chi, which means when sage are born, great robbers arise. The meaning is that uh, people who are, uh, who are sage, who has a lot of uh, knowledge and they know uh, many issues, are likely to give you some morals, to give you some standard of behavior. And this standard of behavior leads to dogmatism. And dogmatism leads to a uh, contrary of liberty and maybe to uh, robbery and the opposite of order in society. That is my interpretation, my personal interpretation. We can, we can discuss this later on. 
The second one is similar. It's also from Johnson. Uh, it says, "You are shown true, true, da da nai true," which means if an end were put to sageness and wisdom put away, the great robbers will cease to arise. Well, uh, the definition is the same. You you need to fight wisdom. You need to fight uh, knowledge in order to have a great great order in society. Okay. Uh, now uh, we are approaching to the to the end of my presentation, and this part is related to the function of knowledge as a fiction uh, to create a reality that it doesn't exist. And this reality uh, is dangerous. Uh, Nietzsche, according to Nietzsche, the rejection of the sense stems from the belief of the existence of a lower world and a higher world. So it's the se separation between two worlds. You have uh, the higher world, in, for example, in Christianity, is the heaven and a lower world uh, in, Christi in Christianity will be um, the, the sensory world, the, the real one. So this fiction uh, is created by human mind. Um, for Nietzsche also, this, uh, this leads to the, to the belief that absolute tr truth might be and un not be more. Uh, so for Nietzsche there is no an absolute truth. Uh, a similar a similar uh, viewpoint we can find it in Taoist text. For example, Tao Te Ching, the most important the most important book in Taoism, as I already said, is Tao Te Ching and begins with the next sentence. Tao ke Tao Fei Chan Tao, Min ke Min Fei Chan Min, which means the way that can be told is not an absolute way or an unvarying way. The way means uh, like the universe. Uh, we can translate it uh, like the universe. Uh, it has many translations, but uh, one of them is the universe. And you can say the, the sentence like, the universe that can be told is not an real universe. So if you can understand the universe, this is not the real universe. If you can uh, explain or put words uh, or describe the universe, be sure that this is not the real universe. That's why ideology is always wrong. That's why uh, moral, moral is always wrong, and only the individual need, needs to choose their own morals, their own standards, uh, their own principles, and they will be better off if they choose by themselves rather than take it for granted by other people. Okay, but anyway, we can find a um, kind of morality in both texts, in, in both Nietzsche and Taoism. And this morality is nature, because they uh, strongly emphasize nature, and they strongly emphasize the, the free will of human beings, for example. Uh, despite the fact that Nietzsche rejects morality of society, they, they consider that uh, the strong men can choose needs, needs, no, sorry, the strong men, the, the more valuable one in society will be those ones that choose their own values. That's why we can find a kind of morality in Nietzsche. And also, for the Tao, we can find this morality. For, for the Tao, what is natural 
is what is spontaneous and allowed to flourish in, in its own way without interruption. So uh, nature is, is related with spontaneity and the spontaneity is what leads you to tap. Uh, uh, maybe happiness is related with tap. We can discuss this later on. Uh, so, yes, neither view is nihilistic because they attach to a value, in this case, nature, uh, to be a standard of behavior. Okay, another important sentence uh, related with nature and with morality from the Tao Te Ching is the next, the next one. Uh, Shui Shan Li Wang Wu Er Wu Chang Chu Chong Ren Qi Shou Yue Gu Ji Yu Da, which means the goodness of water is that it does not use force and resides where all men disdain. Water is therefore close to the Da. What is the meaning of this sentence in my? according to my inter interpretation. Well, the good quality of water, uh, according to Tao, to Taoism, to Tao view, is that water don't need to use force. Because, for example, if you look at a river, uh, the water, uh, the water keep uh, flicking, keep, uh, going its own way without using any force okay and water can can go wherever it it goes uh, that's why water is close to the dam because it doesn't use force okay it's voluntary water it doesn't force you to do something we can discuss later on if you want this sentence but uh, my interpretation is that water is very soft, it doesn't use force, and that's why it's close to Tao. Again, Tao rejects the use of force and embraces uh, liberty, freedom. Another sentence related with, with uh, morality and nature from Nietzsche is the next one. Every naturalism in morality that is every healthy morality is dominated by an instinct of life. Again, the identification between natural nature, morality, health, and life. Some uh, thoughts related with this is the, for example, Nietzsche here, um, critic the change that some pol uh, people want to to uh, undertake in society change yourself is a demand that everything be changed every retroactively so here Friedrich Nietzsche is against to change change uh, order by someone someone else uh, another sentence from the Tao Te Ching is Wu Shang Xian Shu Ming Bu Zhang, which means uh, if we stop looking for person of superior morality, there will be no struggle among the people. That my interpretation if is if you eliminate morality and the order of other people. Uh, you will have you will have a society very controlled, uh, very uh, harmonistic society. I think we have some noise in in the. Mm, I'm sure there's some noise. Uh... Could, could could you all please uh, mute the the microphone, please? Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, so basically 
we have two kind of philosophies in, since this perspective, Apollinian one and Dionysian one. So uh, Apollo, uh, for those of you of, that might not know very well Apollo, Apollo is the god of reason and rational thinking. So Western philosophy, the, the mainstream Western philosophy is Apollinian. And Dionysian is the god of irrationality and chaos and appeals to emotion and instincts. Uh, Nietzschean philosophy uh, is uh, clearly Dionysian uh, as, as it is the Taoism. Okay, and now I will give you my interpretation of these philosophies and then we can start a debate. Uh, as you can find in this slide, reason is represented by this brain. Um, the world, the universe, uh, or the way, if you uh, can say like that, uh, is the universe, the people, etc. So reason is, uh, of human beings stick to some values, to some standards that are not changeable. So if you, if you try to uh, control society according to some principles, you will limit, you will limit uh, the world, you will limit nature because nature is more, more complex than, than your set of values. So, uh, in my opinion, it's, it's a mistake, it's wrong to use reason to control society, even to, to analyze society. Society is, uh, society and nature, everything what it is, is very complex. It cannot be understood, and if if you try to use reason to uh, to understand it, you will you will lead to some uh, huge mistakes. And in economy in economics, you can find plenty plenty of uh, of example. For example, uh, every single policy, politic uh, every single policy from the government has uh, have some problems or uh, bad repercussion in society. So what is this implication in, polit in politics and society? Well, we have uh, a human being using reason, which is a politician, maybe it's the prime minister of, uh, uh, or the head, the head of the state of any, any country, and he used reason to control society and to decide what is what is truth, what is right, what is not right, what is not truth. So something, some behaviors are allowed, some not, according to their rationality. And this is the mistakes that Nietzsche and Tao uh, wanted to prevent us as a human beings. So. Uh, right now we can have a discussion um, I really would like to you to participate and to give me your feedback. Thank you very much. <laughs>